So here are the answers to the questions from the previous chapter. So why don't you pause the video, tick your answers off and then go on to the next chapter which is cell division. Now we're going to be talking about normal body cells as opposed to sex cells. Now sex cells are the gametes, these are the eggs and sperm, they're produced by the reproductive organs. Normal body cells means anything else. Now body cells wear out and they have to be replaced and they have to be replaced with an identical cell. You can't replace a skin cell with a muscle cell for example, so it must be identical. And they also have to divide in order for tissues to grow and they divide by mitosis. Now mitosis is used for growth and repair and the new cells that are produced are called daughter cells. That's the proper term for it. So in mitosis the daughter cells are genetically identical. It's important to get the word genetically in there. So in the process of mitosis the chromosomes first replicate which means copy and then the cell divides and this leads you to have daughter cells which have two sets of chromosomes. So you can see in the nucleus of the parent cell we have three pairs of chromosomes. Obviously in humans it's 23 pairs but just for simplicity I'll just show three pairs. In the first stage the chromosomes replicate so we have six pairs and then the cell divides into two and each of the daughter cells is identical to each other and to the parent cell. They have an identical number of chromosomes. So what about gametes then? It's a bit different. These are the sex cells. They must be different from each other and that's how we get variation in each generation. And the chromosome number needs to halve so that the fertilized egg ends up with the correct number of chromosomes. And gametes are produced by meiosis. Now meiosis takes place only in the ovaries and the testes, nowhere else in the body. And cells in the ovaries and testes divide by meiosis to form gametes. The chromosome number is halved, so the gametes have only one set of chromosomes instead of two. So in meiosis the chromosomes replicate, which means copy, and then the cell divides and immediately divides again a second time. So we end up with four daughter cells being produced and each of them has a single set of chromosomes. So if you're doing higher tier then you need to be able to explain this. So this shows the nucleus of the parent cell in the ovary or the testis. So I've got three pairs of chromosomes in the parent cell. The first step is for the chromosomes to replicate. So I've got six pairs of chromosomes now. The cell divides, so I've got three pairs in each cell. And then it divides a second time, so I've got three single chromosomes in each cell. Okay, that's the end of that chapter. Here's some test questions to check your understanding.